Microscopic wrinkles can make material sticky without using adhesives or change from opaque to see-through. And researchers at Penn have invented a way to mass produce these tiny wrinkles. So we see wrinkles everywhere in daily life, such as in uh, fingerprints, in resin skins. And in our technology, we can uh, produce very large area of surface wrinkles with feature sizes from something like uh, similar to the size of human hair down to about the thousands of the size of the human hair. People haven't been looking at how to uh, scale up the production of surface wrinkles in an efficient and cost-effective way. Traditionally, when generating wrinkles, we need two different materials bonded firmly to each other, and they have different mechanical properties. We induce a pre-stretch of the foundation layer, and then after we release this layer, the surface wrinkles can be generated. And people use this technology to create pieces of wrinkles. They are not in continuous fashion. So the innovation of this technology is the inclusion of rollers, which are often used in, for example, newspaper roll-to-roll -roll printing process. So by combining this roller technology and with the traditional wrinkling process, we can streamline the production of surface wrinkles and achieve a continuous the production of surface wrinkles. There are many uh, applications. One uh, application I can think of is to be used in the windows. By simply stretching this material, we can achieve high transmission of light. There are actually many research in that area uh, for surface wrinkles as uh, dry adhesives. We actually draw inspiration from uh, gecko feet. The geckos can climb walls, right? When we zoom in, we can see very tiny uh, structures on the gecko's foot. And if we want to achieve adhesion, you simply put this normal structured surface to another surface. And due to the molecular interactions, there will be adhesion force generated from that. And another interesting thing about this dry adhesive is that it is reversible. So in that case, we can really control if we want to achieve adhesion or release adhesion. I really hope people outside the research labs can Take a look at this technology and find some really interesting and marketable ideas.